Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode we expanded our high risk area. As you can see we have two other areas here which are for graded high risk. We also just got some more prisons. Now we've got a total capacity of 204 which includes protective custody, death row and uh, supermax which we don't have any legendary prisoners in here. Originally that's what this was for but we do have one prisoner who is I wouldn't say very dangerous but they have a couple of traits that are a bit worrying. They are extremely strong, extremely tough, deadly and instigator. So we do want to separate them off to uh, another area which is probably around here. Which is why we've set them to that. In this episode what I want to do is either get these two areas up and running which is going to be the extra high risk areas or what I'm thinking of is getting the is getting this uh, done which is going to be our um, workshop. So going to go to walls and we'll see what planning would do so that could be a wall all the way to there and um, we're just working out how many benches we could fit in so we could say uh, what's the size of a bench for a start or rather a table it's um four okay so eight Eight and then no, nope. all right. Mm, it depends where the entrance goes. To be quite honest with you, so we could have that, and that, and then this is all of the all the tooling. So three and three. Something like that. And this is a walkway, you see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight presses. And eight's well, eight saws and eight presses. And then here I'm thinking we expand our I think we expand our area for the carpentry. Something like that anyway. Let's go with that. Okay, so we're on a wall there. We will unpause it. We will go for a large jail door there. And I'm going to do a shakedown tonight as well. At least all of the... All of the prisoners are... The high-risk ones are going here, which is good. There's an overdose, which we've heard about. So we just need a guard to come along and sort that. There we go. They've picked them up. But the problem is that they have to take them to the other side of the prison, which is an issue. I do want to go eventually for the legal prep, which um, every prison runs into problems every now and again, uh, and every now and then, and some of them come with fairly big legal consequences. Your lawyer will start the paperwork to help keep the heat off you should something go wrong, but this needs to be done in advance, which is 50 grand. So if it all kicks off really badly, then you know that's there to sort of um, give you a bit, little bit of a lifeline. So we're going to go over to this room, and we want to have metal detectors, so metal detectors, and we're going to place those in there. We will have uh, that connect up to there and the rest of it, well, we'll leave for now. In terms of rooms, it will be a workshop and we'll place that in here. Um, we'll set that as access only as well because I think it worked on the other side. So it is on deployment access only, that's fine. We also need to probably assign, do we have a guard assigned into that one? We don't actually, it would be nice to have a guard assigned to that one. Where have we put that one? And the warden's calling. Just received word that the prisoners are unhappy with how much of the time they have to work during the day and are planned to cause trouble if it isn't reduced. Perfect. I'm just building another workshop and that's what they tell me now. Guard over there, someone saying if they had to work more than two hours, they were going to tear this place apart. So as always, you have two options. You either just let them crack on with it or you say, you know what? Um, no, let's just sort of give it all free time. That's what I'm going to do. Because quite frankly, I don't want to be dealing with all of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go over to um, do we have an automatic door opener system all over there we do indeed so we'll have an automatic door opener here as well and we will connect to the one at the uh, top right there the main one it's quite a big prison now this thing it's getting quite large we could have a look at the charts as well to see what it says but uh, we'll see so I'm just waiting for the works to come and finish that one off we can mouse over it and see that they are heading here, but uh, they haven't come from the other side of the world. It would be nice if you could have additional roads put in. 
So you can say build a little road on there and it goes ding ding and it means you know you can have a one there or you can yeah just just say place a road here it expands the land a little bit. At the moment you have expansion to one side, well to, to whatever side. It would be nice if another option was place a road there and it would just place a road. It just means that you would be able to uh, have more access and such. So we have 67 hours remaining for prisoners demand less work so if we put them on before that they will probably kick off we have some more prisoners arriving which contains a lot of low risk by the look of it which is interesting we do have some traits there so as always we'll activate our our informants by the way i know i activate them all but we, i know i don't need to either you could just say if he's got 100 percent coverage he'll just do everything anyway it's as far as i'm aware so i'll probably do just that and we'll see if that is the case certainly for the target it should be the case but it depends on what happens with them. Because of the regime when they turn up, um, a lot of the times it's a bit of a problem. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll just activate the one. We'll do a bit of a... We'll do a test. So there we are. Looks like our pseudo-4 legendary prisoner <laughs> is uh, going to start mopping up, which is good. In terms of the interrogation or the chat, it's going to happen any second now. And... Boom. Oh, there we go. Straight away. Snitch. So, Anton, Tony, Horvath, you are now a protective custody and you will stay there until you leave because, quite frankly, it's going to be a little bit dangerous for you not to do so. So, it looks like they've made it all right there. They don't get escorted. They just go there. In terms of our protective custody, you can see that we do have... Uh, that's, set, that's now maximum capacity, which is a problem. So, what I'm going to do is the instigators. I'm going to change you to I've just searched search cell block by accident I'm going to change you to a supermax and I'm going to put you on um, end punishment lockdown permanent so we're not going to have you on there same thing for this one you are on a supermax and you're now end punishment as well and that should be fine so we do have uh, a little bit more room now so that's okay and um, we've got Lee there that was overdosing but uh, they've been taken care of so we, oh, we now have death room mid status, Duncan Fairburn, 7%. So we can go through that process if we wanted to. Uh, what I'm going to do is get this built, and then we might do just that. So we'll place that. We'll get the workshop presses in. More than enough money to do this, more than enough. Calm this table. There we are. We have more than enough to build this. Well, the big question is do we have enough to power it? Oh, we probably do. However, there is an issue. It doesn't take into account the electric chair being turned on. So what we see at the moment here is actually really about there. When you account for the electric chair, I think it takes a quarter of the power. Um, we need to power that up as well. I'll connect it to the to the electric chair so the lights probably flicker when that's turned on, but hey ho. So we're focusing on that. We do have the oh my door opener on there now, which is good. And we will eventually go through the process of this in a moment. So, I'm going to leave these bits of planning in for the sniper towers. I might put a sniper tower there. I think that would be worth it, the guard tower. I'm also going to get rid of the planning on them bits there, because we just don't need it. Or do we need it on there? Or on there? Or in anywhere around there? Or anywhere around there, really? That's pretty much done. We've, we've placed them all. So we'll have to see what this this is like for the power station. One thing we don't want is this to blow the grid up. What we could do though, which is a bit cheating, it is a, I do think it is a bit cheating, is that we have uh, utilities, we have a power switch, and we have the power switch um, there. All right. And what that means is, if it if this is over the odds, which well, it doesn't look like it is actually. It means we can flick that switch 
and turn all this off so we have enough power for that. <laughs> it's a bit of a dodgy way of doing it, but it will work. So, this is pretty much done. It is night time. Death row appeal, failed two times, likely load of clumsy 7%. 12 store call. Hmm. Question is. No, I'll wait for this to be done first. Wait for this to be done first. We're also smelling a tunnel around here. Um. Yeah, we've got another tunnel as well. Okay, hang on. So, roll call. <laughs> oh, look, all of these are sleeping. I wonder what that could be about. Dismantle, 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 and dismantle. Focus. And roll call. That's going to piss people off. Looks like we're not going to do the... Uh, Death row thing to do. Oh, it's not those. They didn't move though, these are the ones, so they could be all in it. That's an interesting one. Search toilets then. Well, a lot of these didn't a lot of these were sleeping in here. I'm guessing it's just one of these. Just remove all the toilets, then you just know. At least that should be the case. Um, it's taking a while to finish that over there, and I don't know why. So, no grants. So cell block E, and I think it's cell block F is the only one you've got to do. So, guard taser, we don't need to do that. It's only a couple of people there. Rest's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, there's the tunnel. Yeah, we knew there's something there. And there we are. So, there we're just going to... I'll wait until the guards get around here. We probably don't even need to... Probably don't even need to lock the place down. We're all running towards the exit. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to lock it down. A, I want to see what happens. And B, I want to see what happens if, they're trying, if they ever get to the barbed wire. But quite frankly, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. James Page here, running towards the exit. Being tased. Yeah, that's fine. Remove tunnels then. Get rid of all of that. Whoa, they made it quite far though. Look at that. They made it halfway under the shop. So far, the this has been the longest tunnel around here. But to be fair, it, it would be because it's through just nothing. Well, it's through the ground, but there's nothing underneath it to slow them down. Whereas the the most instances of escapes has come from the dormitories, which is not really that surprising, honestly. But still, yeah. Strange. Um, so why have they not finished off this here? Interesting, interesting. Right, um... I wonder if you can change it. No, I was about to say category. I wonder if you can change it. You really can't. You can't. So, I'll wait for this to be done, and we'll probably wait for it to be... It's next morning now, so we're going to get some more prisoners. I'll just double check to see what they are. And if we activate one of these prisoners now, will their, will their suspicion go up? Should we try it? Activate. Oh, they're actually over there. Eh, it's only a little bit of suspicion. <laughs> Couple of traits on here. Don't know if there's anything to worry about. Stalker, there we go. Straight away. No, it's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Right, so it's work slash free time. As soon as it gets to... What time is it now? 
Um, we'll give them a couple of hours of free time to finish what they were doing. We'll work, until, work until it says actually free time. And then we'll go through the death row process, I think. Um, what I do want to do, though, is go to Logistics, Prison Labour, and assign people to that workshop. And Stefan Trolley Car Steve has probably been in there nicking something. So we'll search prisoner. There we are. And it's now free time. So, schedule execution. Execution initiated. Authorise, well, initiate prisoner lockdown. So all the prisoners are now told to go back to their cell. Oh, 90% now. He's fairly antsy. Running around and whatnot. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? I don't know, maybe you would. Sitting down contemplating life choices. Test facility. If it doesn't blow the grid, we will assemble execution detail. There we go, and we'll escort the witnesses to the facility. You might as well do both at the same time because, well, it's, they're going to come all the way through. So I wonder who that is. Doesn't say. Well, it will say, but I can't uh, click on them. So witnesses to the execution arrive on site and make their way to the execution facility. This group can include family members of the condemned inmate and also members of the victim's family. No uh, NB execution witnesses should be fried with chair. Or chairs, okay. NB, note, I don't know. Anyway, they're all rushing down. You can see all of the prisoners that they pass are in their cells and it's locked down. Danger level will be increasing. Hang on, why is that guy set? In there, that's not right. And also, there's a bit of flaring that I've missed. I'll have to check those two things out in a moment. Flaring and uh, why that guy is in solitary way could be in the one to the right there. So these are all going to make their way to the facility. Yeah, there we go. Execution detail has been assembled, which includes. Uh, the warden and the chief make their way to the condemned inmate cell dish and the priest or spiritual leader of the prisoner's choice arrives on site, visits the prisoner to say a final prayer. Can't go up to max speed, it just doesn't happen. Um, execution detail went down by percentage there. I wonder if the warden's running further away. <laughs> do, they have, do they have jail keys? I don't know if they have. But there is the warden and there is the chief. Which apparently the chief doesn't have keys. He should do. Escort prisoner to the facility. 84% because, well, they are next to it. I'll force open the doors. And that's all the detail assembled. That's the witnesses. And the prisoner's been escorted to the facility. Prisoner Ferber, 9131179. Click. And that's it. Dismiss staff and authorised and uh, witnesses. And they leave. And he's left all alone. Okay. The mandate execution of Duncan Fairburn was carried out at 18.27 as scheduled by electric chair in the presence of witnesses. Regrettably, new information has come to light after the fact that it would have affected his appeal for clemency. Though no action will be taken against the institution, they will receive the standard compensation of 10 grand. New information. So yes, um, would have affected his appeal of uh, clemency. It's not saying that he was not guilty of the crimes. It could be. It could be the fact that he was not guilty of the crimes. It could be that entirely however it's saying that there could have been new information that maybe um, one of these would be reduced and his clemency would go up and he wouldn't have been put in that situation we did get the extra liability which is why that was green and why we did get the payment but also uh, we, we weren't penalized for it if you do that too many times 
I think it's actually only a couple of times, then it's game over. I think it is game over. Either way, we will call it there for this episode. Next episode and the other couple after that, I guess, is really focusing on completing the prison. So it's getting these two up and running. Um, we need to... We need to get, I guess, some of the rough edges taken off. And I want to figure out why. Our supermax prisoner is not in a supermax cell. Where are they? I'm just going to assign him to that cell. There we go. So that should be fine. Right, so we'll leave it there next episode. We will, on the subsequent ones, we'll finish off these two. And then any rough edges. And then we'll think about expansion. I'm leaning not towards expanding it. I think that that would just be probably more of the same, although we'd probably see some more execution stuff. We might go ahead and, well, we probably will, almost certainly, uh, now place some more barbed wire around the outside, but we just haven't had any real problem with that. We are doing regular searches and we have armed patrols and stuff. Adding the barbed wire and things like that does mean that you no longer have to... Um, you don't, you've never had to have armed guards, but it always really... Uh, stopped uh, the escapes but the, now the barbed wire is um, a, a way to avoid that you could easily just have um, normal guards going along there because it damages them as they go over the top so yeah just another way of doing it either way we're going to leave it there next episode we'll crack on thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>